Welcome to the mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity x square over x to the fourth power minus x square plus 1 and here n power times 1 over x square dx. Okay, how to begin? Well, uh, here we have 1 over x square and also in the denominator we have x to the fourth power x square. So, uh, we know the substitution x is equal to 1 over u. Now differentiate so dx is equal to minus 1 over u square du. Now we can uh, plug in here. Uh, now we should change the boundaries when x approaches to 0. So we know here infinity to 0. Then x square we know 1 over u square. So 1 over u square over here x to the fourth power. So 1 over u to the fourth power minus 1 over u square plus 1 sorry here uh, n power and 1 over x square we know u square times dx we know minus 1 over u square du now we know this u square get cancelled and uh, we have uh, i is equal to now we can change the boundaries when we change the boundaries this minus sign get cancelled so here 0 to infinity and uh, here we can simplify uh, if we take the common denominator we have u to the fourth power but here u square so u square get cancelled and we have u square over uh, u to the fourth power times 1 so u to the fourth power minus u square plus 1 times d u okay we know uh, the definite integral independent of the variable so we can write this is also equal to 0 to infinity now instead of u we can plug in x so x square over x to the fourth power minus x square plus 1 raised to the here n power here also n power dx now this is equal to i and also this is equal to i so we can take sum of uh, i plus i so 2 times i is equal to now this part uh, is a common factor so we can write 0 to infinity uh, 1 plus 1 over x square times uh, x square over x to the fourth power minus x square plus 1 raised to the n power dx okay as the next step uh, 0 to infinity here 1 plus 1 over x square uh, times now uh, I am going to divide uh, both numerator and denominator by x square so here we have 1 over here uh, x square uh, here 1 over x square so plus 1 over x square here x square get cancelled and minus 1 raised to the n power dx okay then um, here 0 to infinity 1 plus 1 over x square uh, then here uh, i am going to write uh, this part as a perfect square so we can write x minus 1 over x perfect square so here x square plus 1 now x square then minus uh, 2 so we should have add plus 2 here minus 1 so plus 1 raised to the n power dx okay then um, we can take another substitution for x minus 1 over x so uh, now I am going to take x minus 1 over x is equal to t then uh, differentiate 1 uh, plus 1 over x square dx is equal to dt so we can write now 2 times i 2 times i is equal to uh, now we should change the boundary when uh, here x approaches to 0 uh, we know t approaches to minus infinity x approaches to infinity also infinity then here we have uh, 1 over x minus 1 over x so x minus 1 over x we know t so here t square plus 1 raised to the n power and here we have 1 plus 1 over x square dx we know d t so we have minus infinity to infinity dt over t square plus 1 raised to the n power now we can write uh, this is equal to minus infinity to infinity we can write 2 times 0 to infinity dt over t 
t square plus 1 raised to the n power now 2 get cancelled and i is equal to 0 to infinity dt over t square plus 1 raised to the n power okay uh, then again we can take a substitution so uh, we can take now here t square plus 1 so definitely we know the substitution uh, not t mm, here i am going to take yeah yes sorry t is equal to uh, tan of theta then differentiate so dt is equal to secant square of theta d theta now we should change the boundary lower boundary we know when uh, t approaches to zero theta also approaches to zero upper limit uh, t approaches to infinity tan of uh, phi over 2 so here pi over 2 now dt we know secant square of theta d theta over t square plus 1 1 plus tan square we know secant square so secant uh, to the 2n of theta d theta well now uh, secant we can write by using cosine so 0 to 5 over 2 uh, here 1 over cosine of 2n so in the numerator we have cosine of 2n here 2 so cosine of 2n minus 2 of theta d theta okay then i think now you know the uh, method we should uh, multiply by 1 1 we know sine raised to the theta because uh, now we are going to use the beta function so this is the one of the definition of beta function beta of a b is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to 5 over 2 sine of 2 a minus 1 uh, of theta uh, cosine of 2 b minus 1 of theta d theta so to apply uh, this integral beta function uh, we should uh, find the a and b so uh, we can take uh, 2a minus 1 is equal to 2a minus 1 is equal to 0 and also 2b minus 1 is equal to 2n uh, sorry here 2n minus 2 2n minus 2 so we know a is equal to 1 half and uh, b is equal to 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 over 2 therefore our integral i uh, we can write here 2 so 1 half beta of a now we know 1 half b we know 2n minus 1 over 2 now uh, i think you know about the relation between gamma function and beta function beta of m n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write this is equal to one half uh, gamma of one half gamma of 2n minus 1 over 2 over gamma of uh, one half plus 2n minus 1 over 2 so one half minus 1 over 2 get cancelled 2 get cancelled gamma of n gamma of one half we know the square root of pi so the square root of pi over 2 times gamma of here uh, 2 2 get cancelled in minus 1 over 2 so gamma of n minus 1 half over gamma of n now we know uh, uh, for some real numbers the gamma function is not defined so we should consider the um, value of n because uh, for uh, all uh, real numbers uh, this is not valid okay thank you for watching